Welcome to PlayStation Versus. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So Microsoft actually went over their earnings and here's some of the things that they went over that the gaming sector has uh, hit $5 billion, which is the highest for the quarter, $2 billion in revenue from third-party game sales, um, Xbox Live hit $100 million, and Game Pass is $18 million. So it looks like everybody is, they, they, they're taking over the world. They're taking over the world. So is that really good? Mm, I mean, it's not profit, it's just revenue. So we don't really know what these numbers exactly mean. And Microsoft is the kings of spinning fucking numbers. They've always done it. Um, so you got to ask yourself, why are they actually, why were they trying to raise the price for um, Xbox Live? You know what I'm saying? What is really going on with that? And what is Microsoft really trying to do here? And if you really want to know what Microsoft is doing, look no further than Amazon, which also has game studios as well. Um, they've been actually caught having meetings about exclusively making games as a service uh, type games. Uh, they do not want to make any kind of single player quality type games. Uh, they are looking for a profit. Now, all companies are looking for a profit as well, but when you're forcing these studios to specifically do this shit that's the particular problem now why is microsoft really trying to do game pass it is quite simple they're trying to do game pass to make sure that google or amazon doesn't purchase these particular titles and make money that's that's really what's going on there they know that it's not viable i mean you get call of duty they sell 21 million do you think nine dollars or ten dollars a month um is really going to satiate the, that type of model i mean you can already see like uh the, the, the hitman developers they fucking did 49% on PlayStation alone. There's just no fucking way that it's viable. It, the Game Pass, they literally trying to be a publisher. And if you can't see that, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know. Interestingly, I thought of something. I had the little podcast. And you look at sony's portfolio and you got to ask yourself do they really need third-party developers if microsoft is going the route of buying everybody do they really do, does sony really need third party because nintendo doesn't need third party to be honest and to be truthful they don't really need it at all they do it to be nice but most nintendo fans do not really purchase third-party games they just don't you know Sony has covered racing and sports and well now it's multi-platform with the, the, the baseball um, Action adventure games first-person shooters. They even did fighting games. They covered so much And it looks like Sony is really trying to go that route of Nintendo and not need anybody at all so when you really look at it, you know I guess people want to play Call of Duty or whatever the case is. You you, you do got to look at it like this, right? Um, Microsoft tried to do this before with the 360. They bought all these rights and, and exclusive, timed exclusive deals uh, at, for Japan Studios. You know what I'm saying? And they tried to force Japan, Jap the Japanese, to buy their games. Uh, Blue Dragon and things like that. They still didn't really buy it. They don't like the fucking console. So I can imagine something like that similar what happen if they try to scoop up these developers i think there will they will lose a lot of money um being purchased by microsoft in the first place you know and if uh, see what microsoft is really trying to do is kind of force game pass on these other consoles so they can get out the console industry all together right and if nintendo and sony really wanted to take it there they can block them and they could really fucking starve like microsoft could really starve in this particular case i mean i guess they have pc but most of the console uh purchase or con I mean, well i can put it that way most of the sales come from consoles and most of the console sales are playstation i mean they can play hardball i don't i mean and, and gotta look at it like this too not everybody wants to be bought either you know that's why microsoft is really going after the hurt developers developers with actual problems peep it 